Some people call me a bad apple. Now. Some people call me a bad apple. Well, I may be bruised, but I still taste sweet. Some people call me a bad apple, but I may be the sweetest apple on the tree. The song itself was based on a remark I made about my first mother-in-law. Um, who didn't think much of me, in a way. And I said, the lyric of the song just out of the blue, you know. Um, but uh, there's some truth in it. Uh, I remember in school, I got these stink bombs, these little glass ones you could buy on Young Street in Toronto. And um, we made a tactical error. We tested them outdoors. Big mistake. Because, of course, the firepower of the stink bomb, the smell, was diluted seriously by the fact that we were outdoors. Okay. So we go back to school, and uh, we're in class, and I put the little ampule on the floor. <laughs> and, uh, the, well, uh, ultimately half the school reeked, uh, smelled like a sewer. And uh, everybody knew who did it. Well, the kids knew who did it. And so I, uh, well, it was only a matter of time and I was caught. And I was sent across the street to buy um, some kind of air freshener or something to, you know, kill the odor. And uh, I bought the most, fe it was a boys' school, and I bought the most feminine scent I could. Uh, you know, I think it was Glade Peach or something like that. Anyway, um, but there was that. And, and there was some, I also pr did, I did a lot of practical jokes. And uh, uh, some I'm not proud of, um, sending a hearse to an old teacher's house. You know, I mean, I, I wish I hadn't done that. But uh, whenever I play this, a lot of people identify. So I, I know I'm not the only bad apple in the barrel. When I uh, started in bands, we were playing original material um, in places that were used to top 40 bands. And of course, we got fired a lot and stuff like that. But I had to have songs that you could jump in on any time. You know, if you had missed the two thirds of the song because you weren't paying attention or whatever, it just arrived, um, you still had to be able to, oh, okay, I got it. You know, um, so I couldn't write, for example, story songs or songs that had uh, uh, they evolved verse by verse in that way. So songs like Bad Apple and Do the Bearcat are very much part of that ethos, you know. Yeah. But I never get tired of playing this one. You know, still a bad apple. We had met um, a Mayan Indian in Isla Mujeres, whose whose name translated to At the Feet of the Moon. <laughs>